welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about things to do in the Catskills. If you have no idea where the Catskills is located, it's actually in New York. When a lot of people think of New York, they only think of New York City, but there's so much to New York State than the city, only if you drive up north. There are many regions that make up upstate New York that you can go explore, but in today's video, I'm only going to be mentioning the Catskills region. I recently went on a weekend getaway to the Catskills and I wanted to share things that I got up to and also recommend to you guys if you are ever in the area. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. I definitely recommend getting a cabin. It was actually my first time staying in one and I absolutely loved it and had a blast. I feel like staying in a cabin gives that overall experience of being in nature, disconnecting and relaxing and that's exactly what I needed. Of course, the Catskills offers hotels, resorts, lodges and Airbnbs, but if you can, definitely stay in a cabin if you're gonna be staying overnight or for a couple of days. I just found it to be an awesome experience. I will be having a full cabin tour on my next video, but I will be giving you guys a little bit of a sneak peek in this one, so check it out. A few minutes ride from our cabin, we went to go check out the five state lookout. On a clear day, you're able to see the Hudson Valley and five other states. You're able to see the White Mountains of New Hampshire, the Green Mountains of Vermont, the Berkshire Mountains of Massachusetts, and the Hellebrook Mountains of New York and the Connecticut Valley. We initially wanted to go there to see the sunset, but it was actually way too cold and windy to stay there for like a long period of time. So we took some photos and stayed there for a bit to admire the panoramic views of the area, but I definitely recommend checking it out. <laughs> I personally love visiting state parks just because there's always a scenic drive and different lookouts and viewpoints to look at and I actually really enjoyed the Catskill State Park. It was a really pretty ride to see the mountains and some waterfalls but I definitely recommend going maybe in the later spring and summer season or maybe in the fall just because I went in early April. It's technically spring but it's still feeling like it's winter. It's super cold and super windy and the trees are still bare so I think it would be more beautiful if you went when it was late spring and summer season when the trees are green or maybe go in the fall when the leaves are changing colors but nonetheless it's a gorgeous view and drive. <music> So the Catterskill Falls is definitely a point of interest that you definitely want to go visit if you're ever in the Catskills. When you are in the Catskills State Park, you do pass by it while you're driving, but I definitely recommend putting the Catterskill Falls in your phone, in your GPS, and it'll take you outside the park and into a parking lot where you're able to park your car and start your hike. On the hiking trail, there are three different trails. One that takes you to the overlook a mountain view and to take you to the top of the Catterskill Falls viewpoint and also to the lower part of the Catterskill Falls. So on this trip, it was extremely cold and windy. So we only did the hike to the viewpoint of the upper Catterskill Falls area and it was absolutely beautiful, but the waterfalls were frozen. So I definitely recommend, again, going in the later spring and summer when the water is not frozen and there's more green trees and stuff like that. But we did end up seeing the lower part of the Catterskill Falls, but we did kind of like a shortcut. So what we did was drive back to the state park. We kind of found a curved area where tourists were parking their car and just walking down a hill to see the lower part of the Catterskill Falls. So I definitely recommend recommend doing that if you don't want to do the hike through the woods it's definitely an easier way to get to the lower part of the Catterskill Falls actually really gorgeous and it was one of my favorite memories of this trip you just don't really expect to see these type of waterfalls in the New York State so I really enjoyed it and highly recommend checking it out if you're ever in the area <music> So Hunter Mountain is kind of like the focal point of the Catskills region just because in the winter season a lot of people come here to do some winter activities such as skiing, snowboarding, snow tubing, and other activities that they have available. In Hunter Mountain area there's so much ski resorts and ski lodges that you can stay at and there's more shops and restaurants available as opposed to other parts of the Catskills where everything is kind of more spread out. In this area everything is closer together. 
it was actually really cool seeing Hunter Mountain from afar after you get out of the Catskill State Park. Also cool to see it much closer, especially because right now in April, the winter season is over. It's spring. So it was technically a ghost town. There was not many people there. So it was really cool to explore that area without many tourists. But they also do open in the summer. They do have summer activities that you can check out on their website if you are interested in that. <laughs> If you are looking to go to a casino and do some gambling, I definitely recommend going to a Resort World Casino. I'm not a big gambler myself, but we kept hearing this particular casino being promoted a lot on the radio recently. So since we were close by, we decided to go check it out. This property is actually really huge. They have a hotel and they have the casino, so you can go check in in their hotel or go to the casino or do both. But the casino is very well designed. I love the decor there. It's pretty well organized and there's tons of machines and tables and security which is great there's also bars and restaurants there if you guys want to check that out but like I said I'm not a huge gambler but we were actually kind of lucky this time and we actually won some money and so that was great we didn't completely lose out on our trip there so if you're into that definitely check that out <laughs> Last but not least, definitely check out Woodbury Commons Premium Outlets. I actually didn't know that this was considered part of the Catskills region. I've been coming here for so many years. This is the closest outlet mall to where I used to live. I really recommend if you are coming from New York City and heading to the Catskills to stop here first to do some shopping or going out to eat or just walking around stretching your legs or if you're coming back from the Catskills and stopping here before you go home. It's a great outdoor mall that has tons of brands from low end to high end and everything in between. They have amazing deals here and on the weekends it does get pretty packed so it's hard to find parking but also on Black Friday and kind of towards the end of summer and going back to school season you can find really awesome deals here so I definitely recommend checking out this outlet mall if you are in the area. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more videos like this in this type of format. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next video. Ciao!